this video, we will learn about the congruence and similarity of triangles. In particularly, how to prove that two triangles are congruent or similar. What does congruence mean? Now, we say that two triangles are congruent if they have the same shape and the same size. In other words, I can take one triangle and overlap the other and it fits just nicely. When two triangles are congruent, their corresponding lengths are of the same size and so do their angles. Triangles maintain the same shape and same size if they undergo any of these three transformations. Translation, rotation, or reflection. On the other hand, we say that two triangles are similar if they have the same shape but different size. Suppose we have a triangle of size 6cm, 8cm, and 12cm, and the other triangle is 3cm, 4cm, 6cm. Notice that the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 8 divided by 4 is also 2, 12 divided by 6 is also 2. Now suppose that you're given a few triangles here. Now, how can you tell if these two triangles are congruent or if these two triangles are similar? Now, do you need to check all the three corresponding sides and all the three corresponding angles? Well, thankfully, the answer is no. Instead, we only need to conduct one of these tests to determine whether the triangles are congruent or similar. Firstly, the side-side-side congruence test, whereby we check their corresponding sides to see if all the three sides are equal. Next, the side angle side congruence test, whereby we take two sides and the angle in between the two sides to check if they are the same. Next, we have the angle side angle congruence test, whereby we check any of the two angles and the side in between these two angles to check if they are exactly the same. Lastly, the right angle hypotenuse side congruence test. This applies only to right angle triangles. We just need to check the right angle, its hypotenuse, and its side. We need to check whether they are of the same length. These are the four congruence tests that we can use. There are three similarity tests. Firstly, is the angle 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 similarity test. We just need to check for the three angles and we're done. Next, we have the side 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 similarity test. Instead of checking whether they are of the same length, we just need to check that the corresponding lengths bear the same ratio. Lastly, we have the side angle side similarity test, whereby we check the ratio of two corresponding sides and the angle in between. So let's take a look at these examples. All right, firstly, you will notice that AB is equals to CD. Well, so write that down. Firstly, we have AB equals to CD. Now, this is a given in the diagram. Now, secondly, AD equals to BC. This is also given in the diagram shown. And lastly, you'll notice that BD and DB is a common sign for these two triangles. So we're going to write BD equals to BD and bracket common. And by doing so, we have now shown that the three corresponding sides of the triangles are equal. And therefore, we can now conclude that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. And so hence, by the SSS congruence test, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. Now, take note of one thing. The order of the vertices are very important. They must correspond to each other. This symbol here is known as Congruent. So therefore, we read it as triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. And that's how we use the SSS congruence test. So now let's take a look at how we use the SAS congruence test. Now as the abbreviation says for itself, SAS. Now the angle has to be in between two sides. So let's take a look at this diagram here. Not only does the diagram show that QO equals to NO and PO equals to MO, you will notice that there are a pair of angles that are equal. Which pair of angles are they? Okay, it is the angle POQ and angle NOM. Now, why is this so? Because they are vertically opposite angles. Let's write that down first. Alright, so we have angle MON equals to angle POQ. Remember to write your reason. Alright, next, 
we have PO equals to MO and QO equals to NO. List them down. Now that we have shown that MO equals to PO and NO equals to QO, and in between these two sides that we have angle MON equals to angle POQ, we can therefore conclude that by the SAS congruence test, that triangle MON is congruent to triangle POQ. Here's a reminder that when you're using the SAS test, the angle has to be in between two sides. So right here, you notice that these, this angle is in between this side and this side, and this angle MON is in between this side NO and the side MO. Lastly, the order of the vertices are very important. So M corresponds to P, O, well, it's O, -O. all right, and N corresponds to vertex Q. So that is how we use the SAS congruence test. In the third example, we'll demonstrate how we use the ASA congruence test. Let's study the two diagrams here. Right here we have triangle PQR, angle 70, angle 65, QR is 5 cm, and uh, triangle XYZ, 70 degrees, 65 degrees, YZ equals to 5 cm. As the abbreviation shows, ASA, all right, angle, side, angle. The side needs to be in between two angles. But guess what? This side is not in between these two angles. This side is not in between two angles. Then how? Not to worry, because we can easily find what is the size of the third angle here. Angle sum of triangle. You should be able to find this out. So. Okay, and there we have it. You need to solve for these two unknown angles first. And well, it should give you the same answer of 45 degrees and 45 degrees. Hey, now guess what? We can now use the ASA congruence test because this 5CM is in between two angles and this 5CM is in between two angles. And so, of course, without further ado, we shall now prove that these two triangles are congruent. Okay, so firstly, we have angle PQR equals to angle YZX and this is because it's given in the question and also QR, the length of QR is equal to the length of YZ because this is a given also alright and thirdly we have triangle PRQ equals to triangle XYZ this was found earlier on because we had to calculate these two angles separately and so therefore by the ASA congruence test we have that triangle PRQ is congruent to triangle Alright, lastly, we're going to demonstrate how we're going to use the RHS congruence test to check for two congruent triangles. Alright, so RHS test for right angle, hypotenuse, side. Alright, take note, a hypotenuse and any side at all. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, figure we have here. Right now, what we are supposed to prove, we are supposed to prove that triangle AMB is congruent to triangle AMC. Okay, so this is how we're going to use the right angle hypotenuse side to prove it. So you realize that BMC is a straight line where angle AMC is a right angle, which means angle AMB is also a right angle. So we're going to write that down. Now, that covers the right angle. Next, it is also given that both hypotenuse are of the same length. AB is the same length as AC. Write that down. Okay, so now which side are we going to use? Are we going to use BM and MC or are we going to use AM? Now, in this case, it is not given to you in any way that BM is equal to MC. So, we can't use that. So, what do we use? We can use AM because AM is obviously a common side. So, we'll write that down too. Okay, so now what do we have? We have the right angle, we have the hypotenuse, and we have the side. So, therefore, by the RHS congruence test, we have it that triangle AMB is congruent to triangle AMC. And so to summarize the first half of the lesson, we have learned the four congruence tests. Firstly, the side-side-side congruence test, whereby we have to check that all three sides of both triangles are equal. Secondly, the side-angle-side congruence test, whereby the angle is in between two sides. The angle is in between two corresponding sides. Check that they are all equal, they are congruent. Next, the angle-side-angle -angle congruence test, whereby there are two angles, and in between these two angles, the sides are equal. All right, and lastly, the right angle hypotenuse and side congruence test, or in short, the RHS congruence test, whereby both triangles have a right angle, the hypotenuse have the same length, and one of the sides, they have the same length too. So this summarizes the congruence test. Next, we're going to move on to similarity tests. So the first similarity test we're going to try out is the AAA similarity test we will check whether all three corresponding angles are the same. So let's take a look at this figure we have here. Uh, this, in this big triangle, we have another small triangle. Okay, we're going to prove that these two triangles 
are similar. You will need to recall a few certain things. Number one, you need to recall your corresponding angles, interior angles, alternate angles, all these sort of stuff. So let's take a look. We have one small triangle here, one big triangle here, right? First things first, we have a common angle. Where's the common angle? This is the common angle. These two triangles share the same angle. So we're going to write that down first. Alright, so first we have a common angle, angle BAE. It's the same as angle CAD. What other angles do we have? These two angles, we need to prove that this angle and this angle is the same, this angle, this angle is the same, which is true! Why? Because they are corresponding angles. This and this are the same. And for the same reason, this and this are the same. So we're going to write it down. Alright, so we see that for these two pairs of angles, they are the same for the same reason because they are both corresponding angles because of this same set of parallel lines. So with this, we have same angle, same angle, same angle, 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 angle. So therefore, by the angle, angle, angle similarity test, triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD. Okay, so you would realize that uh, I'm, I've written out one full sentence. Triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD. Is there a symbol for it? So yes, there is a symbol for it, and we're going to just replace it with a symbol. Alright, this is known as a tilde. T-I-L-D-E, tilde. Triangle A-B-E is similar to triangle A-C-D. And that's it, the A-A-A similarity test. Alright, next we're going to demonstrate to you how we do the SSS similarity test or the side-side-side similarity test. Okay, now this side-side-side similarity test is actually quite different right, from the SSS congruence test. Now for the congruence test, we just need to prove that hey, this is same as this, this is same as this, exactly the same length, like that. but SSS, no, we can't. All right. Instead, what we need to show is that for all the corresponding sides, they have the same ratio. In other words, taking a look at this example, okay, in order to prove that triangle DEF is similar to triangle PQR, we need to prove that this length divided by this length is the same as this length divided by this length, same as this length divided by this length. Okay, we will need to prove for every single one of them. Okay, so DE and PQ, alright, we have DE and PQ here, we will write down what is the ratio. And we have DE divided by PQ. What do we have? Okay, we just write down we have 18 divided by 12. Okay, can we simplify this further? Yeah, we can simplify this further. This will give us a um, 3 over 2. Okay, big deal. Find the rest. Okay, EF over QR is 12 over 8. Simplify this, it once again gives you 3 over 2. Okay, and then we need to check the last one, which is DF and PR. So let's write it down. DF and PR is 9 over 6, which also gives you 3 over 2. What do we need to write? We need to write that this fraction has the same value as this fraction, which has the same value as this fraction. We write it down very clearly, no ambiguity about it. Let's write that. Okay, now we have this, is the same ratio as this, same ratio as this. So therefore, we have it that triangle DEF is similar to triangle PQR. There you have it, the SSS similarity test. And so there we have it, the SSS similarity test, whereby we check for the ratio for every corresponding side. Alright, and the last test we're going to bring to you is the SAS similarity test. Pretty close to the SAS congruence test in the sense that side angle side means that the angle needs to be in between two sides. Similar to similarity test, when we're checking the sides, we are checking for their ratios. Alright, so here we have triangle PQR and triangle XYZ. We have two sides here and one angle in the middle of these two sides. Now, we're going to check whether these two triangles are similar. For angles, you have to check that it must be exactly the same. Number two, sides, check that they have the same ratio. So first things first, the angles are exactly the same. So we're going to write that down. First, it is already given to us that angle QBR is 45 degrees, which is the same as angle YXZ, which is also 45 degrees. So that is already given to us. Next thing we need to check, all right, we need to check the ratio of their corresponding sides. First thing, maybe we'll probably check a PR against XZ, probably the simple one. So if you have to find the value of PR over XZ, Alright, it gives you a value of 4 over 3 when it's simplified. Alright, now we're going to do the same for PQ over XY. Let's just try it first. Alright, PQ over XY gives us 10 divided by 7.5. Or 10 over 7.5. If we have to simplify this to the simplest ratio, it actually gives us 4 over 3. Alright, and therefore we have it that these two ratios are exactly the same. 
Alright, hence therefore by the SAS similarity test, we have it that triangle PQR is similar to triangle XYZ. And hence this concludes the third similarity test, which is the SAS similarity test. Now let us take a look at a slightly more complicated example. This one. Now in this diagram below, ABE and DBG are straight lines and AG is parallel to ED. From here, we'll need to prove that triangle ABG is congruent to triangle EBD. Next, we'll also need to prove that triangle DBE is similar to triangle FBC. And hence, we'll find the value of X. So, how do we go about proving that triangle ABG is congruent to triangle EBD? There is not much information here. Not quite. There are some useful information there. If you had realized, there are a pair of vertically opposite angles. In particular, angle ABG is equal to angle EBD. Next, because we have parallel lines, chances are we may have some corresponding angles, interior angles, or in this case, we have a pair of alternate angles. Specifically, angle GAB is equal to angle DEB. What else do we have? We actually have a pair of corresponding sides, BE and AB. AB equals to BE, which is equal to 10CM. Therefore, by the ASA congruence test, we have that triangle ABG is congruent to triangle EBD. Now, let's find a way to prove that triangle DBE is similar to triangle FBC. As highlighted, there is a common angle, which is angle DBE is the same as angle FBC. Next, it is also given in the diagram that the angle DEB is equal to angle FCB. And because we already have two angles that are the same, the third angle is easily implied that angle EDB is equal to angle CFB. Why? Because of the, the property of the angle sum of triangles. And hence, by the AAA similarity test, we have it that triangle DBE is similar to triangle FBC. Now that we have proven that triangle DBE is similar to triangle FBC, now we can then find the value of X. And now we can find the value of X. Well, since triangle DBE is similar to triangle FBC, this implies that their ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. Now, specifically, the ratio of BE is to FC is the same as the ratio of BD is to BF. Now, we have some values. Now, let's just substitute the values in. BE, we have it that it is 10, FC is 5, BD is 5 plus X, and BF is 4. With that, solve yourself for x and you should have it that x equals to 3. And so to summarize today's lesson, we can now use the following test to test for congruence and similarities in triangles. So to test for congruence test, there are four tests. Okay, the SSS congruence test, SAS congruence test, ASA congruence test, and the RHS congruence test. Now for the similarity test, we have three different tests that we have learned, right? The AAA similarity test. SSS similarity test and lastly the SAS similarity test. Now in the questions you need to be familiar with all seven of them. Okay, apply the one that is most appropriate. So all the best.